This video describes the application of the KBS Coatings Fuel Tank Sealer Kit. Okay, today we have this old boat tank. Um, we've already done the cleaning process with the KBS Clean. We mixed it 50-50 um, or one-to-one -one with hot water. Uh, we threw the piece of chain in there. Uh, we sloshed it around for a couple, three hours. We got, all the, we got a lot of the loose and flaky rust out of there. We dumped it out, rinsed it with hot water, and dried it. Next step we did, we poured in the rust blast. Pour that in straight, leave the chain in there, slosh it around, and after a couple hours, we went ahead and poured it out, rinsed it, dried it, and now we're ready to start with the sealing process. The next step we're going to do is we're going to tape up all of the holes. Okay, so now we're going to fill these little threaded holes, as you can see. We're going to put a little bit of grease in there so that the tank sealer doesn't mess up the threads. Because if the tank sealer gets in there, um, we're going to have uh, issues. We'll have to re-thread them or, or whatever. Now, um, the next step is going to be we're going to take some duct tape and duct tape these two holes. And then we'll be right back. Go. Okay, we're back. Now, we're going to go ahead and, and put the tank sealer inside the tank. We're going to go ahead and open the can. Um, be careful just to go a little bit each, a little bit all the way around the can, and the lid should come off just fine. Don't want to get too crazy. Don't want to tweak that lid. Okay, and now we want to get it stirred, stirring it properly. Stirring it from the bottom to the top and then a little bit of circle motion and bottom to the top. You want to get all of the um, components mixed together properly. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour it in this opening. And then we're going to have to seal that opening up with the duct tape. So go ahead and pour that in. We're going to pour the whole can in there. This is a little over a six gallon tank, they tell me. So we're going to go ahead and use a pint. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and put a piece of duct tape over the top to seal that off so we can start to roll it. That looks good. Seal that surface off really well. Okay, now the idea here is to methodically roll that tank until the whole inside is coated. So we're going to go back and forth like so. And then we're just going to tilt it toward us a little bit. And we're going to go back and forth like that until the whole tank is coated. And once we have that, we'll come back. Okay, we're back. Now we've rotated the tank around for about 20 minutes. Um, we're pretty confident that uh, the, uh, the coating is all throughout inside the tank. We're gonna go ahead and take the tape off the one side. This is where we're gonna dump out the excess. Um, we're gonna look in there, see what it looks like in there. Um, let me see if I can get in here. Oh yeah, we can see the tank sealer in there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and dump out the excess now, and we want to get rid of the, the excess. So we're going to go ahead and pour it out, and once it's done running out, that's when we're going to want to make sure that we uh, continually rotate the tank. So once this is all done draining out and quits running, then we will come back. Okay, now. We've already dumped out all of the excess. It, when it quits running out, now the fun begins because we're going to continually rotate that tank about every 15 to 20 minutes until this tank sealer stiffens up. So we need to clean this up here a little bit and put the duct tape back on the hole so that we can actually rotate the tank. Now, the reason that we do this is so you get a nice even coating throughout the tank um, and you don't get any puddling because you don't want that puddling because that just creates uh, bubbles and you could lose adhesion that way. So we're going to do it the right way. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put some duct tape on that hole.
and once we're done we'll come right back okay now that we have that all uh, sealed up now we're just going to go ahead and flip that tank on its top like so I'm going to go ahead and set it down and we're going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to move it into a different direction the idea here is, is to, again, we want to keep the tank sealer moving until it stiffens up. This could take an hour. It could take three hours. It's all going to depend upon your atmosphere. Because, again, because this is a moisture-cured urethane, the humidity in the air is what cures the resin. The warmth in the air is what evaporates your solvents. So, um, we will be back for the next turn. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead now. And we're going to put it in a different location, or direction, I'd say. We're just going to put it on its side, okay? And we're going to wait about another 15 minutes. And then we are going to move it on its bottom. And so on and so forth, until the tank sealer cannot move anymore. Okay, that is very, very important. Okay, we are back with the gas tank. We've uh, put the tank sealer in. We rolled it around. We went ahead and dumped out the excess. We've been rotating this tank for about three hours. Uh, about every 20 25 minutes we put it in a different direction and now we're going to take a peek inside with the scope and as you can see the tank is coated and it's looking mighty good okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead then and let it dry for a minimum of 96 hours before we're going to put fuel to it Okay, we've got the tank sealer all done. Um, it's had about uh, 24 hours to dry. We know we need to let it dry three more days, but it's going to take a peek inside. And tank sealer looks good. Uh, it's not moving anymore. Um, I think we're in good shape. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. We hope you find these money and time-saving tips useful. To see more KBS instructional videos, please visit the KBS Coatings website.